You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, today we're looking at the Sony CLM V55 clip-on 5-inch portable LCD monitor. Now this guy is made for shooting high-definition video with the DSLR camera like the 5D Mark II or other similar cameras. And the cool thing is this is a really, really nice monitor. It's portable. It's $400, which is just an amazing value. Now it runs on batteries or AC power. It does not come with a battery, so you'll need to get a battery and a charger. You can get a bundle though with the battery, the charger, the LCD monitor, and everything that comes with it for $500. So still just an amazing value. Now this screen is 800 by 480 pixels, so it's got enough resolution to really make sure that you get crystal clear focusing and you can really see what you're shooting. So what this guy does is it has a, a hot shoe adapter that actually just lets you mount it right onto a camera and so it goes right onto the hot shoe. Now it also has, it's got actually two of these. This one is for Sony cameras and so it's the auto locking hot shoe that they have. So this will just slide right on there and lock into place and then you can release it. So you can either use uh, one for Sony cameras or one that's sort of uh, universal for other brands of cameras like Nikon and Canon, etc. So it comes with both of those. The nice thing, it actually has not only a screw but a little peg so it makes sure that this doesn't come unscrewed. It really holds it securely and I really like this mount. Now once it's on the camera itself, you can adjust it, you can turn it back and forth and you can make it go up and down, put it uh, backwards if you need to so you can do pretty much anything that you need to do to get this at the right viewing angle. Now the other thing that this comes with is this lid and it's also uh, a sort of a, a shield to make sure that you don't get too much light in here so you can actually see this in bright areas. And so by default, that's actually gonna be uh, snapped on there and it just stays on there. And then when you're shooting, you can just open up your monitor and you've got this nice uh, shield on it so that light doesn't come in and you can see exactly what you're doing it's really, really nice. Now the beauty of this is it's in its simplicity. There aren't a lot of controls on this. In fact, if I'll uh, just rotate this here, on the side you can see that there's just this little uh, opening right here to input stuff. So you've got a headphone port and then there's an HDMI port. And so what this does is it comes with an HDMI cable and that plugs right in here. And then the other end obviously is gonna go into your camera. So I'll plug this into my camera right here. So that plugs right in there and now we're good to go. And then on the other side of this, I'll zip it around right here and move this, uh, we have our controls. So we have a power button, you push that and you hold it and it's gonna turn the monitor on and you get this little green light that says, hey, I'm turned on. And then also we have this little dial here and this is a multifunction dial so you can roll it and push it. And so that's used for selecting all of the things in the menu and that's what I wanna talk about next. So I'm gonna, make this look like it normally would. So again, I would normally be shooting something like this, but I'll point it toward the camera so you can see exactly what's going on here inside of this. And I'm gonna actually take this off so I can see as well. So this actually, the, the hood here, it just sort of, there's two little uh, grip areas here and you just pull it on each one of those and it comes right off. And so it's nice and secure, it's not gonna fall off, um, but if you do need to get it off of there, it's not very difficult to do that. Now what I'm gonna do here is run through this menu. Now the thing that's sort of incredible about this monitor are the functions that come with it. And in fact, some of these functions, specifically peaking, um, I haven't seen except for on really high-end monitors, and so I'm just blown away at the quality of this monitor. And so let's first talk about what we have here. So this first thing says peak. And what that does is when I push that, it's going to over sharpen all of the areas in the screen. And then what will happen is it also has focus on red. And so things that are in focus are actually gonna be super sharp and the edges of those things are going to turn red. So you know exactly when you're in focus. And so there's no more guessing, you know, if I'm in focus or not in focus. So that's peaking. Another thing that's really amazing about this monitor is the ability down here, there is this little magnifying glass. And so you can go in there and you can actually zoom in 
on what you're shooting and so you can really double check to make sure that your focus is crystal clear so it's a really nice feature that you can zoom in on the monitor itself to get right into actual size pixels to see if your focus is sharp and that's something that's going to make sure that it saves you all the hassle of guessing to see if your focus is sharp or not now you'll know exactly if it's sharp so peaking focus on red and the magnification to full size image between those two you should never have a focus issue again now next thing down here we have this little grid here when i uh, press on that it's telling me that I can show safety zones on the actual screen and we have 16 by 9 and 90 percent so that would be uh, action safe then we've got 16 by 9 80 percent so that's maybe title safe and then we have 4 by 3 aspect ratio 90 and 80 percent as well so you can sort of set up your guidelines here so if you're shooting uh, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio but you might want to make sure that you can show that on a normal older TV well you actually have guides in here to show you what's happening it's really nice well then we have some other uh, more standard um, menu items here so we have volume so you, this actually has a speaker built in so you can turn that volume up or down or off we have a brightness control so you can adjust the brightness of this we've got a contrast control you can actually set the white balance you can change the white balance in this and so you can make it more blue or amber which is really nice then the other thing we can do here is we can change the backlight and so we can make the backlight brighter or dimmer and so that will change how the appearance is on this and then also we can actually change the color temperature of the screen so we have a white balance and a color temperature adjustment and so this has choices between uh, 9300 Kelvin 7200 Kelvin and 6500 Kelvin so you can really dial this monitor in to match what you're shooting to make sure that your colors are going to look uh, as close as possible to what you'll be seeing in post-production and it's really really nice um, and then we also have again I mentioned this uh, hood here for uh, viewing outside in bright sunlight now the thing that we noticed in our testing when we went outside is that this works pretty well but uh, when we have a lot of really bright blue skies this screen wasn't really this hood wasn't adequate enough to block all of the light and it was really really difficult to see outside inside it worked terrific outside we had some issues with this small screen in really really bright sunlight well that's the sony clm v55 clip-on 5 inch portable lcd monitor again the monitor itself is 400 dollars the bundle with the battery and charger is $500. It's just an amazing monitor, and really for even uh, twice the price, it's gonna be hard pressed for you to find something that has this high of quality. It's something that I think needs to be in every single pro videographer's toolbox. In fact, speaking of pros, the things I really love about this, obviously the peaking, the focus on red, being able to magnify the image to really make sure and double check that your focus is extremely sharp, the ease of use, and of course the price. The cons, really, it's very difficult to find something that we didn't like about this monitor. The only thing that comes to mind is the glare on the screen that's outside that makes it really difficult to see. But that's something that can be fixed really easily with the Hoodman sunshade. So you can just add that and so you get a lot more protection and you can see in bright sunlight. And so this is something that I think is a no-brainer. If you're shooting HD video with a DSLR, this is the monitor I think you should buy. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this week's episode of Adorama TV. Remember, if you have a question about photography or photography gear, you can always send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.